Hi, I'm Christy Lynn from Learning the Harp, where we make learning to play the harp feel simple and doable. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure you subscribe and click that little button to get notifications when I put out new videos, because there's new videos coming to you every week and I don't want you to miss out. I want to encourage you every week with your harp playing. <music> So we're talking about changing your harp's tuning from being in the key of C to now being in the key of E flat. And I just want to start out by saying, don't worry or stress out about this. It's not such a big deal. It's not going to hurt your harp. It's not going to be a bad thing and it's not even going to take that long. So I'm going to take you step by step through the process and you're going to be able to do it and wonder why you worried about it in the first place. If you're not really sure what it even means to tune your harp into E flat versus C or why you would choose one over the other, then you need to watch the other video I made. It's up in the cards over there where I take you through all the reasons of why you might choose to tune in E flat. But a summary for you is you would only choose to tune in E flat if you have all your levers and if you want to be able to play in flat keys. I'm going to talk you through doing it with my big lever harp but at the end I'm going to demonstrate doing it quickly on my small lap harp as well, my harpsicle, and so you'll be able to see what it's like on a smaller harp too. You've got to make sure your levers are down when you're tuning because it's better for your harp, better for your strings and you're going to be a lot more accurate. And this is how you check if your harp is in C tuning to start off with. Um, so you have all your levers down and then you'll pluck a C string, D and E, it should sound like that, not an E flat, it will sound like an E, and then F, G, your A should sound like this, and your B, and your C. And you'll hear that it sounds like a happy major scale when you're going as opposed to if your harp is tuned in E flat, it would sound like this. let's get to the tuning. So you need to have your tuning wrench and uh, either an app or an electronic tuner of some sort and mine are just sitting down on the chair over here but you're gonna see them on the screen and I've chosen two different electronic tuners, well apps actually on my phone because between the two of those one of them should be should look similar to whatever you're using to tune your harp um, and if you're not really sure what to use then there's a link down below i really like pano tuner app it's one of the ones on your screen um, but uh, you can really use whatever you have so what we need to do when we're changing our harp from c tuning to e flat tuning is we need to tune all the e strings a strings and b strings down a half step we need to make those notes lower so that they start registering on the tuner as a different note. So normally the tuner registers an E string like this. There we go, you can see on the tuner that it's showing as an E string. But when we tune it down a half step, it starts registering as an E flat or it may be on your tuner as a D sharp. Um, so the note below but a sharp. And that's okay, both of them are correct. And so I'm going to just take you through the process now of tuning from the lower end of my harp all the way to the top and um, show you that it's, it's not so scary. So if you want to do it along with me, get your tuner um, or your tuning wrench or tuning key and your tuner somewhere where you can see it. And then you're going to pluck the, the first E at the bottom or depending on how many strings your harp has, it might be an E, a B, or an A that are the lowest string. But I'm starting with this E down here. Okay, so that's pretty well in tune, but it's an E and I want it to be an E flat. So let's tune it down. So I pluck the string first and then I start moving the tuner so that it gets lower. If you find that it starts getting higher, then you're going the wrong way and you want to be moving down towards the E flat rather than changing it up towards the F. Nope, make sure it's getting lower. And you keep on going down until it gets to either an E flat or a D sharp, depending on your tuner. Now it's showing as an E flat, um, but I've just got to keep going until it's in tune. that's it my first string is done <laughs> so now we move up to the next one on my harp the next one is an A 
you might have an A being your first string that you need to tune down and then the next one is a B, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going up to the next one that's either an E, a B or an A. So now I have an A. I'm going to again start turning this. For me, I turn this towards me when I make it lower. For you, it might be different, but just look on your tuner and see, is the note getting lower or is it getting higher? And you can use your ear too. I can hear it getting lower. So I keep on going down. Now it's starting to register as an A flat instead of an A, which is good, but I keep going. Whoops. Now it's an A flat. Awesome. Let's go to the next one. Tuning down my B. Okay, you'll probably have to pause the video every time. If you're doing this along with me, just pause the video each time and then do it yourself because otherwise your tuner is going to pick up what I'm talking about or my strings and then you'll be very confused. Um, so just keep on pausing and you can do it in between, I, in, in between my tuning. <laughs> okay, um, so let's keep going. The next one on my harp is an E. And I'm just going down. And you don't need to worry about um, your strings being damaged. I mean, if you were to retune your harp every day, yes, it would damage your strings and make them more likely to break. But, um, but we're only doing this in a blue moon, once in a blue moon, changing the tuning of your harp. So it's really not going to be a bad thing for your strings. If you do happen to have a string break, which is very unlikely, don't worry, it's not your fault. It was probably an old string that was going to break anyway. So this really shouldn't be damaging your harp. the next one, a B. There we go. And now the E. So just make sure that each time you're actually plucking the string before you start turning, um, just to make sure that you're actually on the right string, because um, otherwise you could be turning and turning and turning and not realizing that it's going lower and lower. So I pluck first and then I start tuning down and then I can hear it going down. There it is. And now my B. And I'm not worrying about it being perfectly in tune when I'm doing it now. I'm just getting it to the kind of round about the right note because it will take a little while for my harp to settle in this new tuning. So for the next few days, I'm going to have to tune more often. And that's just because you've changed the tension of the strings that are pulling on the soundboard and your harp gets a little bit cranky and it starts to adjust. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do some more tuning after I've finished all of these strings and then I'll have to tune multiple times a day until it finally feels like it's settling into the new tuning. And I don't have to turn it quite as far with these higher strings. Because it's much more sensitive here. Okay. There we go, almost there. Maybe you have a lap harp and you won't have to do as many strings, but it's exactly the same concept. <laughs> and the last one, yay! So there you go. Now I'm in E flat tuning and you can see it didn't even take me that long, even though I'm talking to you in between. Um, so it's really not such a big deal. You're going to be okay. You can do it. So now to check that we're in E flat tuning, we're just going to play all the notes in a row from E all the way up to the next E. Oops. <laughs> That's because I wasn't really plucking properly, but there you go. So it sounds like a happy, happy sound like an E, 
E flat major scale. Um, and if I do, um, if I play the C strings, I mean the strings like a C scale. sounds pretty sad. And you can hear my harp is not perfectly in tune right now. So now is when I would need to go again and tune the whole thing so that it's really well in tune. And I'll have to do that pretty frequently to make sure that my harp starts to settle into this new key and that it actually wants to stay well in tune rather than just approximately in tune. <laughs> We're done. So now think of all the keys that you can play in that you were never able to play in before. All those beautiful songs in the key of F major or B flat major are gonna be accessed by you without any problems. <laughs> okay, I'm just turning my harp around so I can show you the levers. So immediately what you're probably thinking is how on earth do I get into C major? So I've made a quick guide to setting your levers for any key when your harp is tuned in E flat. So if you'd like to download that, there's a link down in the description box and up over there in the cards and you can get a free guide to setting your levers in any key for a harp tuned in E flat. <laughs> I hope that helps. So now I'm gonna show you all the keys you can play in when your harp is tuned in E flat major. When we have all the levers down, we are in the key of E flat. If you put up all your A levers, you're now in the key of B flat with two flats, B flats and E, and e flats, yes. <laughs> if we put up our E flats, our E levers become, change from a flat to a natural, now we're in the key of F major. If we put all our Bs up, we're now in the key of C major. If we put all our Fs up as well, we're now in the key of G major. If we put all our Cs up, we're now in the key of D major. If we put all our Gs up, we're now in the key of A major. And if we put all our Ds up, we're now in the key of E major. That's seven different keys you can play in. And um, these are the most common keys used. And so that's why I like tuning in E flat major. And of course, you also have all the relative minors for each of those lever configurations. So you've actually got 14 keys that you can play in. And I think they're the 14 keys you're most likely to want to play in. <laughs> Now I'm gonna quickly show you how I tune down my lap harp. And you can see that when I'm not talking in between, it's so quick and easy. <laughs> Are you guys noticing my cat in the background? Little Jasper, there he is. <laughs> now let's tune my harpsicle, a uh, lap harp into E flat. It's on a stand right now, so that's why it seems nice and tall, but I promise it is a lap harp and it's just the same process. I just have to put my um, tuning key in my other hand because it has zither pins where they're on the same side as the levers um, and I'm just gonna quickly do my tuning. There you go. Of course, you don't have to do it so quickly. You don't have to be in a hurry, but that's just to show you. It's simple, quick and easy. And, um, and let's just check. There we go. 
almost sounds like a happy E major scale. So I hope you enjoy playing in all the new keys that you can now access. And if you enjoyed today's video and you want more from me, um, then you can watch that video over there, or you can click down there and subscribe to my channel. And there's also a place on the screen where you can click to get that downloadable free PDF where it's a quick guide to setting your levers in all the new keys. All the best with your E flat tuning, and I'll see you next week in the next video. Bye.